Okay, I got my car back, it's loaded, I've got Justice in the car, and I am pulling out of the driveway of my dad's house. So, here we go, another trip home. so I can actually talk to my camera while I'm driving and actually take video um, of my road trip <clears throat> as I go. So we're going to try this out and see how it works. Anyway, I'm on I-75. My Waze program always tries to take me up through Atlanta, which I will not. I usually get off at Tifton and take Tifton across, which is a prettier drive. A lot more back roads, a lot more interesting things to see. Since I'm driving in the daytime, I might be able to get some good pictures on my camera as we go. Just have to wait and see. I was also thinking that this is a good way for me to create some more videos because I have so much time while I'm driving. Um, I can talk about a subject. Right now, what's really close to my heart is um, family. Family is so very important. Um, those connections, and then of course with you know COVID right now, it just makes everything, especially after this year, it just makes it so much more important to reestablish those connections, keep those connections, and you know, and, and make sure that we're spending time with our family. I know it always makes me feel better being around my family, being around the people that I love the most. I miss that the most. I really do. Probably the hardest thing about living in Alabama and being so far away from my kids. So, you know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Tomorrow is never promised. So make sure that you visit with your family and make sure that they know that you love them. It's really important, not just for you, but also for them. I think one of the best things about my car breaking down was that I got to spend several more days with not just my dad, but with also my aunt too. Um, it was funny, she brought a puzzle and she wanted to put it together. And uh, so, so one of those days that I was stuck. Um, and uh, there was really nothing to do. She pulled out the puzzle and we started working it. We tried to get my dad to help too, but he, he's not really interested. So me and my aunt, we uh, sat around the table and it took us two days, but we got that puzzle put together and, and I actually enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the conversation, the closeness. Um, putting the puzzle together. I mean, it was just, I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun. Putting together a puzzle you think was a boring, monotonous thing, but I actually enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a change of pace. It was something different to do. And I got to hang out with my aunt. You know, and then my dad would come along and sit down and watch us for a little while, and he'd get back up and go sit back outside, or he'd sit down and watch TV. But he even would come by every once in a while and chat. So it was, it was nice. Up here on the left is a little nursery. It's called Tai Tai Nursery. And we've gone through here so many times when we were traveling. And we always say that we're gonna stop. And now that, you, that I'm traveling by myself, I keep thinking, okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. But I never do. I'm always in a hurry. And, and I never find time to stop. And today is gonna be another day. I 
just want to get home and I'm not going to stop. But I'll show you as it comes up here on the left. I, uh, about half an hour ago I did stop I stopped a little west of Phoenix City there's a loves truck stop there and they have a dog park and uh, Justice was very anxious so I let her out she had to go I let her run around a little bit get some water and then I uh, after I got her taken care of then I went took a little break and uh, topped off my gas tank and started back down the road. I'm gonna keep this part short because the closer I get to Montgomery, the heavier the traffic gets. I thought I'd see more of the leaves changing, but they're really not. Maybe as we get further north into the uh, hills, we might see some more changes. But so far right now, everything's pretty green. closer to home and um, traffic's still a little heavy. Of course I'm past Montgomery and now heading into Birmingham and uh, I see a few changes in the leaves, a little more than I was before, but it's hot. It is 83 degrees so that was a little unexpected. I figured it'd be cooler but then again I haven't been paying attention to the weather up here. drive and I'm very thankful for that. You don't want anything to go wrong when you're just you're driving and so far from home and don't know anybody. But um, I've spent a lot of time today listening to um, YouTube. I listen to different people like my favorite channels. Some of them haven't posted much today which is fine. I've been finding other things to watch. I um, have a favorite and that is Tim Poole. Right now he's one of my favorite opinion uh, YouTubers. He gives his opinion on, on the news and uh, I, I do enjoy it. They're rather long. He's um, more of a what he calls a center, center of the road fence, middle of the road fence center. Uh, I don't know. I remember what Tim Poole calls himself calls himself a milk toast fence sitter. That's what he calls himself. I'm starting to see the colors change on the leaves. As we get further north, I'll flip it all around so that you can see what's going on with the leaf color. Um, one of my goals this year was to be here when the leaves turned. So uh, being in Florida for the past almost two weeks has been concerning to me because I'm afraid I'm going to miss it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens as we get further north. Ooh, 
the Senate's right. So I'm passing the Galleria Mall in Pelham. I'm about an hour from the house. And yeah, it's going to be hard for me to get any more video. So I don't know. Stand by, see what happens. All right, I have finally arrived in Tuscaloosa and the sun is almost down. I still got a little while before it goes down, but I'm gonna turn my camera around as I drive through so you guys can take a little look as I drive through downtown Tuscaloosa. Oh, by the way, roll tide. over the Warrior River, that was the, the bridge. And uh, so I think I'm off 30 minutes from home. So this was an uneventful trip. I am very thankful. One stop for gas. Justice has been great. Even though she's getting a little, she's getting mad at me. She's been chewing on her blanket, but she's quiet right now. I'm going to try to capture some more pictures of the fall leaves changing if I can get some. So thank you for stopping by my channel. Thanks for sharing the ride with me and I hope to see you back soon.